Hey there, it's Mike with the Fish Tank Barn. And are you curious what the first food that people use to raise clownfish? Well, that's the rotifer. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to create and maintain a rotifer culture. So stay tuned. Uh, rotifers are a microorganism about, can be uh, 50 uh, to 1,000 microns in size. Uh, the rotifers that you'll see in this video are called L-strain rotifers, and those are about uh, 160 microns. Uh, there is an S-strain rotifer that is smaller, it goes to about 50. Uh, so we're going to talk about culturing today, the L-strain rotifer. So with that being said, uh, let me go ahead here and we'll show you how to culture them. What you need for your rotifer culture is you're going to need a bucket, you're going to need your uh, rotifer starter culture, which I purchased here from Reed Mariculture. You're also going to need some algae. Uh, the algae I have is called RG Complete, and that also comes from Reed Mariculture. A link to Reed Mariculture in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and open the box and we'll get started. got a uh, big bottle of RG Complete, smaller bottle here because it came with the starter kit. Uh, right here in the breather bag we have the rotifers. So let's go ahead here and I'll actually show you what we got to do. So the first step is you need to take a clean bucket and add about three to four gallons of fresh sea water to it. Now that we have our bucket of water, we're now ready to add the rotifers. So you just open the package and dump in the rotifers. Uh, the water should turn kind of a light green, tannish tea color. Now that we've added the rotifers, it's time to add the microalgae. So we're adding the algae by dripping it in, and we want to make it a pretty dark green color. We've now placed an air stone into the rotifer culture. I did add a little bit more algae to green it up a bit. But that's basically your complete culture. So now let's go ahead and focus on the maintenance. Okay, we're now going to focus on creating our second culture here. Uh, you do want to clean your cultures out about once a week or so. So let's go ahead here and I'll show you how to uh, start the second culture. See here I have a clean bucket sitting next to the culture. So all I'm going to do here is I have a, a strainer. This is a 52 micron strainer and I have a vice to pour it through. So I'm just going to pour uh, some of the old culture through the strainer into the new culture. That helps clean it out. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see here now, this is all of the uh, crud was captured. And if you look here, uh, you can see that all the rotifers are in there without the algae. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and set up the air stone just like we did with the other culture. And also I'm gonna get some uh, tank water and go ahead and get that uh, buttoned up here. And now we're just gonna add our air stone and our instant algae, and then we should be all set. Uh, the culture has been created, so uh, we should be good to go. Once you're ready to hatch your clownfish, go ahead uh, and do kind of the same process. Basically, capture the rotifers, run them through the strainer, and then put them into your culture along with some of the instant algae. And then you should be all set to raise your baby clownfish. So that is the uh, final rotifer culture. And then every week or so, we'll go ahead and clean the buckets out. We've set up our rotifer culture. So that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content and found it informative. If this is your first time to the channel, uh, please check out some of the other videos. If you enjoy this channel, please like, subscribe, smash the notification bell, and uh, keep on breeding. We'll catch you on the next one.